This is Talk 650. This is Talk 650. Powered by CBS Radio. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Welcome back to the Price of Business. I am your host, Chris Kelso, filling in for Kevin Price, who's out doing great things in the market today. In studio right now, I have Shannon Register with Register Real Estate Advisor. Shannon, how you doing? I'm doing great. Great to have you on board today. Thanks. It's a great time to sell your home. Uh, you know, it's an incredible time to sell your home right now, especially if you look at some of the days we've been having and forecasted to have out there. Right. You can't get any better days. Sure. And, and I think it's a perfect subject matter of what we're going to be talking about right now. We're actually going to be talking about the top 20 things to look for in a realtor or a brokerage before you're selling your home. That's right. And uh, hopefully we'll have time to get to them all, but if we don't, I'll go ahead and run through the top 20 and then I'll elaborate on them. So that way I, I love familiar. that idea. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, the first thing is video production. Um, that's the first thing you want to look for. And the video, uh, the photos, I'm sorry, the photos are very important. Um, the websites that you use, one of the most important one is the realtor.com. How the agent uses open houses is very important. The type of lockbox on the front door of the house is important. A lot of people don't even know why, so I'm going to talk to you about that as well. Right. Blogging is huge right now. The magazine ads we always use. Um, you want to have a good home warranty on your house. And um, we talked about the Realtor.com website, but there are lots of other websites you want to be marketed on, so we'll talk about that. Um, the documents online for your buyers, your potential buyers to see. Also, the centralized showing. You want to have some kind of scheduling company. That's the one that we use in particular, but you could use other, you know, other realtors use other scheduling companies. So you want to have that. Um, E-flyers, you want to make sure there are E-flyers going out to realtors so the realtors know about the houses because realtors <laughs> are the ones who have the buyers. Right. Um, direct mail campaigns, uh, net sheets, very important. You want to know at what price point you sell out, how much money you're going to walk away with. So that's super important. There are lots of reports that your realtor can get for you. Those are important. You want to know about um, the company's website and what sort of SEO they have. Make sure that they have uh, good online visibility. Um, print to web technology. That's huge right now. Right. Everybody is uh, everybody's starting to use the QR codes. So that's really important. Um, seller service guarantee. You want to have some sort of guarantee in place. Um, help with home staging. And then um, the last thing is you want some sort of references from the realtor. You want to be able to really check them out and make sure that they're, you're going to be able to get in touch with them when you need to and uh, make sure that they're qualified to help you. So those are the top 20. I would agree. And, you know, as you mentioned right there, we went through them pretty fast. So what we're going to do right mm -hmm. now is go through each one of them individually. And since we're talking about selling your home, I think you said one thing at the very beginning. And like I said, me being in the mortgage side of business, I relate very well to this, is you mentioned about vid videos and, and photographs. Right. And, you know, and one thing I'm going to put out there is, to you is how often do people say, oh, I've got some great pictures I'll take? It's a no-no. <laughs> let's, right, let's go into right. a little bit about it, because obviously selling your home, the very first thing they want to do is they want to see what it looks like. As right. you mentioned, it gets posted on the web, realtor.com, har.com, Trillia, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right. And so what they see, especially with the fact that 80% of all individuals initiate their search nowadays online, that's one of the most important aspects right there. It is very important. We actually think at our brokerage at RREA, we think that video is the most important. And that is because so many buyers don't have time to go shop around for houses. They want to look at the whole house online. They want to feel like they can walk through the house before they ever get to it um, and get a better feel for it than you can get in photographs. So we have a professional videographer on staff that goes out and takes those videos. And then that's only one third of the problem is the video. Because, you know, <laughs> a lot of realtors go out with their iPhone and, and take a video. It sounds like they're in a well. Right. You Right, absolutely. So we get a nice professional video, but that's only one third of it. The other two thirds of it is what you do with that video, how you market the video. So that's what we do as well. Um, just to stand out from those thousands of competing homes in the MLS, we take that video, we put it on our website, we blog it, um, we put it on realtor.com, it's on YouTube. Um, we push it out through all of our social media from you know Twitter, you, uh, the YouTube course, Facebook. Um, LinkedIn. Yeah, we put it everywhere. So it's what you do with that video that's really important. You want to make sure it goes on websites that are where it's going to be seen. Absolutely. And as, as we know here in Houston, number one, I always say this, we're in the number one real estate market in the nation. Mm -hmm. but we're also in the real estate market in which a lot of people are moving to Houston right. from another place. Right. So oftentimes, they can't come in and see that home. They're moving in. So yeah. as you mentioned, you have to push out to the mediums that are going to be available to them in their other cities, whether right. it be in California, or Florida, or specific cities such as Atlanta, which we seem to get a lot of people in from, and they can see it, walk through it, and as you mentioned, sort of do that virtual tour right. before they even step foot in the home. That's right, because they may come in for a weekend and have to sign the documents and get it executed before they ever leave on Sunday night. <laughs> so, you know, you're spending all day Saturday showing houses back to back. 
you only show those houses that you know they're going to be interested in, which they've seen full videos. They, they already have a good feel for the flow of the house. They know that floor plan is going to work for them. And then you're just picking, you know, just picking the, the intricate details, you know, of location and that sort of thing. I would definitely um, agree. So the second thing is the photos. We, we do, we have very good quality photos. Um, sometimes when you look in the MLS, you'll see that a realtor only puts in six photos, which is the minimum, or you'll see that the photos were taken out of the car window. You know, you want very nice professional photos that show the, the home uh, in great detail. In HAR, they allow you to put up to 33 uh, pictures, I believe it is now. So Correct. we we make sure we stack in all the pictures we can. Those then go out to realtor.com. If, you, if your brokerage pays for the upgrades on realtor.com, you get more pictures. Right. So you want to make sure that the brokerage is upgrading on Realtor.com so that you can, you know, so that your potential buyers are seeing as many pictures of the home as they can. And as you mentioned right there, you can never take enough pictures. That's true. You know, unfortunately, because as a potential buyer or as a potential seller, you want to show every aspect of your home. Right. And customers or clients, mm -hmm. uh, when they're out there looking at a home, they want to see every detail of it as well because it's their ultimate investment. So right. you can never take enough and you can never take them good enough. And the high quality, why I about it's worth the extra expense to put a good quality photo out there because that can make or break what an individual wants to see online. It is. So that's a good question for consumers to ask their realtor. You know, what kind of camera are you using to take these pictures that you're putting in HAR? Right. Okay, yeah, I see you're putting the Max, but are you taking them with your iPhone or do you have a nice quality camera um, that you're using? And also, are you putting captions with it? Because those captions um, really help it to get uh, better search engine optimization. Right. So you want to make sure you have captions with the home. A lot of agents kind of skip that part. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely understand. You know, and that bleeds into Realtor.com. Another very the important website, one website out there. That's right. It's the number one real estate um, website in the world. And what we know about Realtor.com is they allow you these different levels uh, as far as brokerages go, um, different levels to compete at. So you want to be at that maximum level so that you get, um, it really looks like a showcased open house when you look at it online. Right. So it helps you to stand out from whatever's competing against you in your price range. That is awesome. That mm -hmm. is awesome. And, you know, and I, I will put out this as well is we also have HAR.com here right. in Houston, which is the number one portal here in Houston. That's right. And I'll tell you, anyone who's looking out there in Houston, Texas, it is absolutely an incredible website. They're friends of the show, obviously, as well, mm -hmm. and friends of yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, that in conjunction with Realtors, you mentioned, number one website in the world, con and combined with the number one website in Houston, makes it a really good search optimization right there. It does. And actually, our website at rrea.com indexes all of the listings that are in the, ML in the Houston MLS. So you can actually search for any home on the market through our website. Perfect. So, um, just a, just a ideas for different people out there looking. You can change your search criteria. There are different ways to search um, depending on what you're looking for, whether it's a foreclosure, short sale, you know, regular property, you know, resale property, new construction. Awesome, awesome. And the next thing is open houses. I think that was one on the list, and that's always yeah. intriguing. Well, open houses are interesting because depending on where the house is located is going to depend on how many open houses you do. Right. For example, I have a home right now that's right on a corner lot close to the, to the entrance of the subdivision. So we do an open house there just about every weekend or if not a, every other weekend. Because right. you can see it well. It has high visibility from, from other roads. Um, it's just a great place. It's easy to get people in and out of. Now, if the house is in the back of the subdivision, open house isn't going to be as effective. Right. Um, one great thing about the open houses now, though, is that you can advertise them on Realtor.com, on HAR.com. You can put them out through social media. You're not just using the yard signs. Right. So you want to make sure your agent's doing that. You know, where are you going to market and advertise my open houses? That's a great question to ask an agent. And uh, I think you mentioned social media is so huge out there. It is. That it can be a very effective tool if utilized mm -hmm. right, right, or it can be a very ineffective tool if you're not using it. That's true. A lot of agents <laughs> aren't using it. That's true. That's true. And, then, you know, you mentioned lockbox. Yeah, the lockbox are interesting. You know, there's those little dial uh, lock boxes that go on the front of the house. And what I've found is that um, it's so easy to do as a realtor is that you you call the showing or the, the listing agent and you write down that four digit code and then you show a bunch of houses. And at the end of the day, your buyer says, hey, can I get a copy of those? Right. And you've forgotten that you've written those codes on them. <laughs> so, you know, that you have to be careful. Make sure you take those codes off before you make copies and give them to your buyer. So um, I always advise them. Or, well, I always use a super lock box, which is satellite control and we are able to track it. 
Gotcha, okay. Which is a good thing for security, because we also know if anyone enters or exits the home through the lockbox, we can track who it was. It's the new GE Supras, correct? Base, yes, that's <laughs> correct. That's correct. And, and they're so much better than a than a little lockbox with the numbers on it. I would never use that on a home where someone's living. No, I would agree right there, especially because the security, as you mentioned right there, be able to see somebody coming and going at, at real time, right. anytime. And, and, you know, as mentioned right there, security is extremely important when you're selling your home. It is. It is. And the next thing is blogging. Um, you, as you know, we're the um, number one uh, blog and we're the, the best real estate blog in Texas, awarded by Texas A&M University. Right. So we blog about all of our listings and we simulcast them on other blogs like H-A-R, Realtor.com, Truly, Azillow. You know, we put them out there on all the other blogs as well. Wow, that is amazing. Well, you know, we have a lot of stuff still to go over. Unfortunately, the radio only gives us a little bit of time That's to talk right. about it all, right? So we're going to bring you back, and we're going to leave off right there. We left off with blogging, and we're going to come back. But if individuals want to know more about this, how can they reach you? I'm actually posting this article on my blog, um, so you can find that at rrea.com. You can see all of our listings and other videos at rrea.tv. And you can always call us at 281-288-3500, and we have agents standing by to show you homes. Shannon, pleasure having you on board today. Thank you. For all those listening, you're listening to The Price of Business on Talk 650, powered by CBS Radio. We're going to take a break right now, but stay tuned. We'll be right back.